So we're in a town called Worthington, Minnesota. It's a small town in the southwest corner of the state. And we're on our way to St. Mary's Catholic Church, which is essentially kind of a sanctuary church for many Latino immigrants here in this community. Worthington is a community of about 13,000 people. The majority of our people living here within the community are undocumented. You've made St. Mary's a sanctuary church. It was a week after the election of President Trump. You could feel the fear within the community. And that hasn't changed? No. We have mental health issues. People are suffering from depression. We have um, a rise in alcoholism, drug addiction, abuse, and domestic violence. And it's all as a result of what's taking place within our country. What do you say to those people who say, you know what, all these undocumented immigrants in places like Worthington, they need to round them up and get them out of here. What would that do to a place like Worthington? If all the immigrants were to leave tomorrow, this town would die. What percentage of these farms and these agriculture businesses around here, uh, what percentage of undocumented workforce do they depend on? I would say probably 90%. That's an astounding number. It is. We're on our way to meet with a dairy farmer here in the state of Minnesota. And it's interesting, we're not really sure what it is we're gonna get, but he's agreed to meet with us and he's grappling with just how much he wants to share about uh, the realities and how the farming and ranching industry r really works. The, the topic is hard to talk about, right? Yes, it is. It's, it's hard for any dairy farmer or farmer in general to talk about it in the United States. When we say that we're in, in dire need of, of more people to help us do the work and we talk about them being immigrants, uh, not a lot of people want to hear that. If we don't have the workers to, to produce the food here in the United States, the food is going to be produced somewhere else. The reality is much of this workforce on, on these farms is made up of undocumented immigrants. You can go and Google this. It's not a secret that 50 to 70 percent of farm workers in the United States are undocumented. There just aren't the people out there that are willing to come and do the farm work. Recently I, I needed to replace a worker. I started to interview and the first one I interviewed, I hired her. She was a no-show. Then I tried another person, and same problem. Then I hired another person, worked for four hours and said, this is not what I want to do. And then I hired another person, an able-bodied, uh, locally born and bred young man. And you're being nice. When uh, you I'm, say locally, locally bred, <laughs> native born, you're talking about white workers. I, I am. <laughs> uh, you, you said that. A nice young man, but worked eight hours and said, this works too hard for me. Que sucio es, es difícil el trabajo. Sí, está pesado por eso. Pero las fincas, pienso yo que a lo mejor ni siquiera pudieran funcionar sin ustedes. Sí, así es. Aquí están mis talones. Las taxas que me quitan, pues aquí dice toda la información. Do your bosses know that you're undocumented? Sí, sí, ellos saben. Y a, a ellos no, no les importa, they don't care. No, a ellos no les importa. No les importa. Uh -huh. Ellos necesitan de uno. There are a lot of Americans who don't want to see undocumented immigrants like yourself in the United States. What do you say to them? Yo les quiero decir que nos tengan piedad. 